Hey everybody, welcome back to Spill the Greens. We've had a lot of questions about hydroponics, the technology, and the industry in general. And I'm here today to help shed some light with information and answers to those questions. Hydroponics is a method of growing plants. The word hydroponics breaks down from two root words, hydro implying water and ponic meaning to work. Basically what we're using this method for is we're letting the plant use all of its energy to grow a plant instead of using its energy to look for nutrients in water. By using a hydroponic or soilless method where everything is delivered in a water solution, that plant just has to grow and has everything it needs right where it needs it. Short answer, anything. As long as it's a plant that needs water and nutrients, which is all plants, you can provide those through a hydroponic method. It doesn't always make commercial sense to grow something like an oak tree in a greenhouse, but you could do it. And we're here to test the limits of the different varieties and methods used to produce food and plants for everyone. Eden Green Technology uses very little water. We recirculate all the water in our system so we don't have to add a lot and we're not draining anything to waste like other systems will use. In a traditional field farm, they're going to fill furrows with lots of water, essentially flooding a field to let that water soak in, using way more water than they ever need to. Any hydroponic greenhouse is gonna cut down significantly to the tune of 98 to 99% less water than a field grown agriculture. At Eden Green Technology, we take that one step further. Not only do we recirculate the water not drained to waste, every little bit of water that leaves our grow system goes through the plants as they use it to grow. But we also capture the water in our air. We have condensating units that take all the humidity out of the air and put that fresh, pure water back into our system. So at times, we have a net zero use of water in our actual grow environment. There are a lot of things going on. It is an exciting and fast moving industry. A lot of companies are looking at seed development specifically for hydroponic plants. Then in the greenhouse side, we're talking about automation. How do we learn better? How do we move things better? How do we grow plants better? Some of that's being done with deeper dives into sensors and data. Data-driven decisions is manipulating how we grow plants in a great way right now. And then we're using some AI technology. How do we predict how we're going to grow better? How are we gonna have better plants based on what we know and what may happen? And then how do we adjust? All these things are driving the industry to provide better plants in a quicker method, safe and clean. Quite frankly, just start doing some research, learn and let's get your hands dirty but no dirt, this is hydroponics. So look online, see what plants are growing, see what you can put in. You can grow these in a cup in your house in just water and that's hydroponics and you will learn. There's also lots of classes out there as more and more universities start providing programs specifically aimed at controlled environment agriculture and hydroponic greenhouses. It is a wave of the future and there are lots of opportunities for anyone to learn and to get involved. And once you've got some knowledge, start hitting up greenhouses. We need lots of labor, we need lots of help by way of production assistance and packing, but also growing plants and IPM management and nutrition. We need all kinds of help and we want people to be involved all over the world. Well, that's all the questions today here on Spill the Greens. If there's anything else we can tell you about or answer for you, please leave some comments in the area below.